So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and I think it's time to show Zephyr some love because Zephyr is an absolutely fantastic Warframe that's a ton of fun to use, can do tremendous amounts of damage but unfortunately isn't used all that much. The build I'm going to show you today focuses primarily on her tornadoes, more specifically on the mechanic where any damage you do to the tornado will be then dealt to any enemy in or around the tornado with a 200% crit multiplier. This is an incredibly strong mechanic especially since it also transfers all the status effects you do to the tornado and it can effectively turn any weapon in the game into an AoE weapon. This is a hilariously powerful setup that can do just absolutely insane amounts of damage with relatively low investment actually, so let's check it out, shall we? So here's what the setup looks like and it's actually fairly flexible so you don't need to follow this build exactly, you can play around with it. For the aura I'm running aerodynamic mainly for the damage reduction but the aim glide and wall latch time is nice as well and I'm combining that with aviator which gives me a tremendous amount of damage reduction while I'm in the air. This is your primary for reactivating turbulence which can't be recast while it's already active and it's your primary way of staying alive so what you do is you jump into the air and as you're gliding down and your turbulence runs out you reactivate it before you hit the ground. After that we have Prime's continuity, constitution and ogre message for just a ton of duration and we follow that up with stretch. Now stretch is here purely for turbulence because what turbulence does is it creates an area around your warframe that redirects enemy bullets and I've noticed that without any extra range I was randomly getting hit whereas with stretch I am not getting hit, so that's a definite yes there and it should also give you enough range to cover your sentinel as well. Now after that we have a flex slot, so you can put whatever you want in there. At the moment I am using Hunter Adrenaline but I am seriously considering putting in Rolling Guardian instead. Because the only thing that's gonna kill you on this build if you keep up your turbulence and you use your tornadoes are status effects like slash, heat and that kind of stuff and if you have Rolling Guard you can just dispel them. Though this only really applies for like Steel Path and onwards. Now after that we're actually using one of the new Archon mods, Archon Vitality. This is not entirely necessary so you could put Rolling Guard here if you want to but the reason I'm using it is because of a neat little interaction with the tornado because when you shoot the tornado with primarily heat damage it changes its damage type to heat and it triggers Archon Vitality. Though unfortunately it doesn't seem to trigger on heat procs that you fire into the tornado, just the heat procs the tornado inflicts itself. And we top it all off with Streamline and Fleeting Expertise, that's two ranks from the top so we get a ton of efficiency and we can cast things willy nilly. The build is extremely straightforward, you just want to keep up your third ability, Turbulence, to deflect all the bullets that the enemies fire at you, then you want to slap down tornadoes and fire into the tornadoes. That's it. Though one important thing to note here is that you can actually create two different varieties of tornadoes. If you tap the ability the tornadoes will move around and if you hold it down the tornadoes will be stationary. Now you already saw what this build can do with the assistance of the almighty Ignis Wraith against level 180 heavy gunners but let's check out some infestation as well, in this case it's the Deimos Carnis units which also die pretty fast but it's straight up hilarious against the Corpus because even level 180 Corpus techs only take 6 rounds from the Ignis Wraith fired into the tornado and they all burn to a crisp. Though this is only the case outside of Steel Path because once you get into steel path, corpus units, specifically corpus eximus units, get really chunky overguard and shields. And they actually become the most difficult things to take down with this setup. And speaking about eximus units, the build works against them, you can even defend against them if you keep up your turbulence, here we have 20 level 180 eximus bombards, but it is sketchy as hell, they will take damage from the tornadoes if they're within the range of the tornado, but they won't be picked up by the tornadoes until you destroy their overguard. This is really dangerous, but as long as you're careful you should be absolutely fine. One thing I will say though is that while the AoE on this build is absolutely fantastic you do need to bring some kind of a single target weapon if you're going into steel path just to deal with the acolytes, as trying to kill them with the tornadoes doesn't usually go well. But my god is this a fun build to do steel path with, specifically survivals where you can bunker down and you can just toss out your tornadoes, let it suck up all the enemies and then blast them with the ignis wraith. Or another weapon of your choice, you can use all kinds of weapons for this, some of which are even better than the Ignis Wraith, I just really like using the Ignis Wraith for this. The setup is also very safe, you will take virtually zero damage as long as you keep up your turbulence because it will deflect all the projectiles coming towards you, which also makes you pretty much immune to blitzes because all a blitz can do is just break your shield gate. The only time you die from a blitz is if you have multiple blitzes fire at you in a rapid succession, so one breaks your shield gate and the other one kills you. The only thing that's dangerous on this build are status procs, if you get a massive heat or slash proc on you that's probably going to kill you in steel path, but you can fix that easily by running something like rolling guard and just rolling. And that's pretty much all I wanted to say, so I thank you very much for watching as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, and I'll see you next time, bye bye.